Dear students, now we are going to discuss Introduction to Digital Image Processing. Let me start with one quote. One picture is worth more than 10,000 words by Anonymous. So here, from a single picture, we can get more information than hundreds of words. Okay, so image plays a vital role in recent technological development. Nowadays, we are talking about the computer vision, artificial intelligence, video analytics. So this all are based on this image processing concept. Okay. So here, what does mean by image? Image is a two dimensional function. So here as a human, we are seeing a scenes as a 3D projection. Correct. So we can see everything as a 3D projection that has to be considered as a 2D projection as a image. Correct. So image is a 2D function. So here it can be represented as f of x comma y. This x and y represent the spatial coordinates of this part. Okay. So if x and y represent the spatial coordinates of this image and here the amplitude of this function at any point represents the intensity level at that point. Do you all understand this one? So here image is a two dimensional function it can be represented as f of x comma y here x and y are the spatial coordinates and amplitude of this function at any point. So each point in that image is having its own brightness value that is intensity level at that particular point. Okay. So what does mean by digital image? Here the spatial coordinates, intensity levels, all are finite and discrete quantities that is called as digital image. Okay. It can also be represented as 2D discrete signal. So here this digital image is made up of a picture element. So here each element in this digital image can be represented as a picture element. That is nothing but pixel. So here everybody knows this concept pixel, right? So pixel means it is a picture element or sometimes we can say image element. So these pixels are the smallest units of digital image which represent the brightness at that point. Okay. If you are going to zoom the picture which has been taken with low resolution. So while zooming we can see the pixels are broken. Correct. So the zoom is not very clear because of the low resolution the pixel value is very less. Okay. In high resolution high definition the pixel value is very accurate. Correct. So here the digital image can be represented as n cross n array of elements that can be represented as the matrix form that is f of x comma y is equal to the first position the pixel element this position can be represented as 0 comma 0 that position this is x value this is y value spatial coordinate its brightness value can be denoted like for example its value may be 5 the brightness value is 5 at this point okay so second position that is second pixel location is 0 comma 1 Likewise, we can have n cross n array of elements. Do you all understand this concept? So, so likewise, we can have n cross n matrix to represent an image. So why do we need this matrix format? Okay. So because as a human, we can see this is a red color. This is a green color. This is leaf. This is that image details and all everything we can understand. But computer cannot understand this details. So computer can understand only the digital values so that we are converting the analog image into digital image and then process the digital image by using this computers because computer can see the image in terms of array okay with the pixel values you will understand this concept okay so next digital image processing to process and analyze the digital images using some software algorithms or mathematical models by using digital computers or any other digital devices. Okay. So the processing of digital images which is done by the digital devices is known as digital image processing. For example, here we can say image enhancement, image restoration. So these are the kind of operations in this digital image processing methods. Okay. Next. There are three levels of digital image processing techniques. 
low level processing methods mid level processing methods high level processing methods so in this low level processing methods we are going to perform the primitive functions like image pre processing techniques for noise reduction contrast enhancement image sharpening kind of operations so here in this low level processing we can give the input as a image we can get the output as an image you all understand this one so here we can have digital image processing system so we can give that image as a input and we can get that image as the output for example here we can give that image with noise at that output side we can get the image without noise okay so for that we can do some pre processing methods like uh, blurring kind of noise reduction methods can be used you all understand this one that is low level processing so here input is an image output is also an image so next mid level processing in this one we are giving an image as an input to the system and we can get the image attributes as the output so image attributes means we can get only the edges or contours or recognition of the object at the output side in that image we can have for example apple some kind of objects so here at the output side we can recognize each object separately so here mid level processing we can perform segmentation description identification of that objects so segmentation means we can partition so what all are the objects present in the input image that can be segmented okay so next, next high level processing so high level processing means here we can give the input as the attributes extracted from the image so we are giving the selected edge or selected object to that system and that has to be analyzed okay for example computer vision image analysis vision related cognitive operations for so for example so we can give the texture or features of that image to the system the image can tell what kind of object is that what it is performing so this cognitive related operations can be done at this high level processing so this high level processing is used in computer vision artificial intelligent technologies okay so next advantages of digital image processing so here we can have faster and cost effective image manipulations and to improve the image quality it can be effectively stored and easily transmitted from one place to another place correct so digital image we can store easily when compared with that analog image so in this digital image processing we can easily compress the digital image and store within a storage area and we can uncompress the signal whenever it is needed okay so next increases the efficiency and accuracy so this all are the various advantages of the digital image processing at the same time is having some limitations as well so for example that memory size okay storage size as well as the processing speed of the computer so this two are the constraints of this digital image processing okay next applications of digital image processing the very first application of digital image is in newspaper industry so it started in 1920s itself right the very first application of digital image processing in newspaper industry so and then the medical imaging technologies widely using this concept x-ray imaging ct scan pet scan mri that is uh, magnetic resonance imaging here we are using radio imaging concept okay so likewise we can have the gamma ray imaging remote sensing applications so satellite all kind of satellite applications we are using digital image processing methods computer vision multimedia applications video analytics that is surveillance everywhere we are using digital image processing methods so mainly in military defense applications for example vehicle navigation missile guidance wide area surveillance target detection and traction so next in forensic department law enforcement and cyber crime security and cyber crime analysis so likewise commercial application so everywhere we are using digital image processing